Hi guys, Donnie here from Chasing Bones Inspectors. Uh, this is for Amy Stone. Um, I'm very, very sorry. I owe you a great big uh, apology. Um, and, I, and I think I'm gonna, you know, just do a little bit here. Anyway, over a year ago now, uh, Amy had a situation where people were attacking her, blah, 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 saying that she did something wrong or whatever. Uh, on my advice, me and her talked, okay, and she took responsibility for, for the stupid little incident. It was nothing major, nothing to be, you know, crazy about, but she took a, took a stand and did her thing and whatever, and she took full responsibility for her little action, okay? Now, sadly, uh, she was influenced, obviously. She was brand new to the to the paranormal scene. The person who also was involved with the whole situation categorically denied it, even knowing anything about it. So whatever, that's on them, not on her. Okay. I was very proud of her, and I still am. Uh, the fact that she stood up and admitted the little goofy thing that she did, uh, but it was just, you know. We're all brand new, all starting stuff. We all make little teeny wee mistakes. She made a stupid little mistake. And, you know, other people took advantage of that. Well, sadly, uh, and I, from her point of view, I can totally see where she would think I'm a monster and that I betrayed her and all this other stuff. Uh, from that side of the coin, I could see where where that would be you know, you might think that, but um, fact is, it's not actually true. She was going through a very rough tuck patch, and sadly, she lost her pet. Her puppy died, and she was going through a lot of hard times. And I've talked to her a couple of times. I haven't talked to her since then. Um, but she's put a time off box, and I said that I'd delete it if she did this thing, which I thought I did, okay? Uh, she just messaged me the other day saying, when are you going to delete? I thought you said you're going to delete it. And so I went and double checked. Well, damn it. She was right. It wasn't deleted. Uh, I guess what I did was I put it on unlisted. And if people still have the number, they could still get to it, right? But I had thought I deleted it. So it is deleted now. Okay. Uh, and I apologize for that. Uh, but I honestly thought it was deleted. Um, so I want to apologize to Amy personally for that. Um, but I really did think it was deleted. <laughs> anyway, um, so I told her that I would do another uh, thing for her, you know, which I fully intended to do. Um, but she was going through a rough patch and said she needed some time away and everything else. So I said, okay, fine. Um, and we lost contact. You know, I sent her a couple messages. She sent me a couple, but. Uh, then there was no contact for quite a while, and to be quite honest, I forgot about the incident, you know, after a long time went by and, and never heard from her, or I never was able to get a touch of her, or whatever the case may be, the lack of communication, um, it kind of slipped my brain, so. Now I can see where she's sitting there going, well, all this time you said you're going to do everything else. Well, I did, I did start a campaign to try to help her get some more views. She did get some more viewers. I mean, things were going good, but I mean, it was just too much. Uh, uh, family was sick and, and then her favorite pet died and all this other stuff. And it was just way too much for her, which I totally understand. Uh, and then we just lost communication. And <coughs> there might've been a mistake in the communication too. I'm not sure. But basically I told her, okay, so now just do one or two more investigations and then that'll give me new stuff, right? And I could take that with some of the other stuff, put it together and make a whole new cinema of uh, paranormal investigators that I approve of, right? So I was basically waiting for, to see two or three more cinemas so I could edit it and, and put up another thing for her. Um, but unfortunately, due to whatever reason, uh, I never saw no new no new cinemas coming up or anything uh, so I had nothing to work with to make a new cinema okay I still of course will make a new cinema if I see stuff for her uh, but that is why I stopped uh, making um, 
paranormal channels that I approved, right? That's the reason I quit making those. Is because I was waiting for uh, opportunity to put her channel back up on the thing. So if you look back, I haven't done any more uh, investigative. Um, because I really fully intend and intended to redo her channel and revamp it. Because I was very proud of her for standing up and, and very proud of her for what she's done and all her other stuff. Like I said before. I checked through everything that she'd done. It was all legit. It was all really good, uh, fantastic uh, evidence that she got on, on different occasions and things. Um, so I was just basically waiting to see a few more things so I could make her another, uh, another one, you know, another approved uh, channel. Uh, but unfortunately, that never uh, come to pass. Um, so for whatever reason, but. Yes, uh, she did do that with me talking to her on my advice. She, you know, she she did stuff, and uh, she admitted a little screw up thingy. That's on me, you know. Um, yeah, and and I'm just I'm very sorry that uh, we lost communication, and I'm very sorry that that stupid thing wasn't taken. I swear to God, I thought I I deleted that. Okay, and I I. I totally understand why you're pissed at me and everything else and uh, yeah I got I got nothing you know I just I I swear I thought I deleted it and you know since your message I went back and checked and son of a gun it's it, it was just marked unlisted it wasn't deleted and uh, that's on me and I'm very very sorry for that I told you I'd take it down um, I thought I did that really is terrible and I'm very sorry about that um, however I, it is deleted now and I shall never uh, will never, we'll never have to worry about that one again uh, but I still believe in you Amy Amy Stone I still believe in you uh, if you start doing paranormal investigations again I will give you a new proper review I'm not doing any other any other channel reviews anymore and I don't ever intend to until we square you away, okay? And if you don't do any more investigations and you don't do anything else on, on YouTube, that's fine too. Um, perfectly, perfectly okay. But I just want you to know that I'm very sorry for the misunderstanding and for the lack of communication that we had. Um, bad, bad all the way around. And I do understand why you think I'm a dick. <laughs> and I don't blame you. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't nothing done on purpose against you at all, period. Okay, nothing against you at all. Um, but I do really feel bad that, that that thing never got to lead. I really honestly thought it was. And I really honestly was just waiting for a few more of your cinemas so that I could redo your whole thing for you. Um, and I still would, you know. Um, other than that, I mean, I haven't been doing much in the paranormal over the last year myself. Uh, I've been very sick and away from YouTube. Uh, other than um, the last little while, I've been really working on my workout channel, trying to get back in shape, trying to get healthy again. So I spent a lot of time on that channel, and I haven't spent very much time on this one. So with all that, all that said and done, I owe you a big apology, and I really am sorry, and I understand why you'd be upset. So, uh, hope you can forgive me, and if you don't, that's okay too, you don't have to, uh, but I am sorry. Um, I really did think I had uh, deleted that piece of shit, but apparently not, so, yeah. And if you ever want, if you ever want me to do another thing for you or whatever, just let me know, you know. Uh, I promised you that I'd always be there if you ever, ever want some help or advice or anything, or if you ever want, and I meant it. 100% I still do um, just get a hold of me you know and let me know what's going on and, and what you'd like to do so um, yeah I still back you I mean I still tell people you're good you know you can ask around I've said positive things about you to everybody so even though at this point I understand why why you we think I would betray you or something I never did okay I've stood by you and I continue to stand by you. And I am sorry for the fact that we didn't communicate. 
Um, but like I said, I didn't want to bother you while you're trying to recuperate from everything. And, and the last time we spoke, you said you needed a time to, to, uh, <coughs> to uh, I don't know, get focused and, and centered again. So I basically said, okay, well, when she's ready, she'll contact me. But then after, you know, a few months, I totally forgot. So again, I apologize for that. And um, I totally, uh, I totally see why you, why you think that I uh, be betrayed you, but I never did, and I never would. And uh, yeah, so I still got your back. Um, whether you believe it or not, that's fine. But I just want to make a public apologize to you and explain what happened. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this helps you in some way. And, and uh, but if not, hey. This is never coming down. It's going to stay on my channel um, because you deserve to have an apology and, and you deserve to have this. So I'm very sorry and uh, peace. Okay, bye.